Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Now, officially, most robocalls have been illegal since the Telephone Consumer Protection Act of 1991. Nonetheless, Americans received almost 4 billion automated robocalls per month in 2020, or more than 10 per person each month. In 2019, a divided Congress with a Democratic House and Republican Senate came together to pass the TRACED Act, or the Telephone Robocall Abuse Criminal Enforcement and Deterrence Act, which allows for a financial penalty up to $10,000 per robocall. The House vote was 417 to 3. Still, money only talks so loudly. What about jail time? Well, that's the idea behind the Do Not Call Act, which would allow prison, sentence, prison sentences of up to one year for a first robocall offense and up to three years for any subsequent offense. The acronym Do Not Call Act stands for the Deter Obnoxious, Nefarious, and Outrageous Telephone Calls Act. The Senate version was introduced by Nevada Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, while the House version was introduced by North Carolina Democratic Representative Deborah Ross. Now, supporters argue that if robocalls are still this numerous, despite being officially illegal since 1991 and with the current financial penalties in place since 2019, something more must be done. But what could that be? Well, it would have to... Hold on. Hold on, I gotta take this. Right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. hello? Jeez, I don't even have a car.